Perfect. All right. Hello, hello. My name is Robin Whitworth. I have with me Christy Garcia. And uh, Christy is one of our star students <laughs> inside the Elevated Mother Experience. And she has just been such a delight to work with. Somebody that has just taken the material and rolled with it. I remember, I'll never forget, meeting her at her job, bringing her her workbook. And she's just like, Robin, not even sure how this is going to go, but I know that I'm supposed to be here. And I'm remembering like, this is going to be awesome. That kind of energy coming in is fabulous. And one of the things I noticed right away is that she takes the information and she's willing. She's willing to put ego and fear aside and look at whatever I said. She's a willing student. And she was able to see massive shifts in a short amount of time to where she's only been in our program, which is a six month program, like what, three months? And mm -hmm. then she's like moved into our mastermind and now she's going to be working with us in one of our big team projects. It's just so fun. It has been so fun. So Christy, tell us a little bit about you. Whoever's watching this is interested in the caption. They're, they know you. They're maybe someone that's seeing this online as a testimonial to the Elevated Mother Experience program. Where were you before? Tell us a little bit about like, okay, I'm married. I have a job. What's Tell us your, a little bit about your demographics and then how you came about finding us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm married. I've got a little eight month old baby girl. Um, I work full time in healthcare. And then I'm, I've also been doing, you know, an essential oil um, network marketing business for the last couple of years. Um, and I, <clears throat> I found the Elevated Mother Collective. I had, well, you know, it all goes back to inspiration. <laughs> um, you know, a year ago, I felt impressed that I needed to change congregations in, in my, in my church. And, um, so kind of made that leap and made a connection in my new congregation, um, that introduced me to the Elevated Mother Collective. I think I joined, like had one Friday our free Friday class met with Robin and signed up for the experience. Cause I just felt that it was meant to be that I was led here for a reason. And I couldn't have even articulated that reason at the time, um, other than I knew to follow those promptings to, to, I know how the spirit speaks to me. And so I said, okay, I'm just going to go on faith and go forward. So that's how I ended up with the elevated mothers. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. So tell us having spiritual thoughts like that usually stems from you wanted to change something. So you changed your congregation. Was there anything else? You wanted to change anything else about your life? What was going on? Yeah, I had a lot that I wanted to change. Um, my marriage, I, I can I can see it now that I had a very um, victim mentality. Mm. But I was just like, I have tried everything. I have done everything. I am so self-sacrificing and I have, <laughs> you know, put in all this work and, um and I really just felt like, okay, I'm at the end. Maybe this program will help me navigate a divorce because <laughs> I don't know how to get out of this. And then I was kind of stuck in my business. I, you know, I said, I really feel like I need to be doing something that gives me, you know, financial freedom, time freedom. I want to be more present. I was so excited to have my baby girl and I'm just working, felt like I was working all the time. And so I said, but I feel stuck. I tried all of the how to's and do this and you know you'll grow your business and I just nothing was working for me and so it was just kind of yes stuck but also just like okay I know these things up here mm. you know like I have all these knowledge all this principle I'd done a lot of self like personal development work but I couldn't get it translated into action <laughs> I was stuck in my health goals I was even though I was you know doing healthy things um and so it was trying to figure out, like, I'm missing something. And I remember telling that to you, Robin, like, I'm missing something and I don't know what it is, but I know you have it. <laughs> and I know now that you were just helping me find it in myself, discover that piece. Um, but that's really what I came into the program being like, I'm missing a piece somewhere. <laughs> and I know people watching this. This is not uncommon to feel like we might be missing something. If somebody would just tell me, 
Right. I would do it. Mm -hmm. I promise. <clears throat> the desire has been there so long. It's like, just tell me, just tell me what it is. Oh, and yeah. 10 times out of 10, it's mm -hmm. something within us. It's something within ourselves. Because as you've beautifully discovered in the experience, mm -hmm. you probably already had the magic sauce mm -hmm. within yourself. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> yes. So, so did you have any thought before the program, what it would be like, what you thought it would, how much time or like, have you ever taken a course before or a coaching program before? Like, what did you think it would be like before you actually got in? Yeah, I'd actually had quite a few mentors that I had worked with um, in different different ways, different programs. I was a big fan of, I'm a big fan of having a mentor and I know how powerful that can be. Um, and so I had, you know, kind of loose ideas of like, okay, they've got some kind of program and I know it comes with a workbook and I'm great at a checklist and um, I will just throw myself in and whatever this looks like. Because like I said, I hadn't been in the collective honestly long enough to kind of even get a loose idea of even what the experience coaching program looked like, what it involved. Um, so I knew there'd be some like one-on-one -on -one coaching and that there would be some like that I was going to set goals. And then I, but I really honestly had no concrete idea of what it would actually look like. <laughs> so it and was that, totally that speaks to your faith and also faith. to a, a level of personal courage that you have to be like, I, I can go on the spirit fully on this. I'm not sure what it looks like, but you knew the value would be there based on the energy that you were feeling. That's huge. Absolutely. Yeah. It was definitely energy. It was like, okay, this, this is right. This is right for me right now at this time in my life. So when you're thinking about, I, I got in here, it's been a few months, what's the biggest shift that has happened within you or, or without, like on the outside? What's one of the biggest, you can call it a win or just something that has changed? What do you see now? What's the experience helped you become aware of? Ooh, and I think it's, it's that word that you just use is aware. Um, cause I was gonna say, man, I have so many wins I could share, but overall it's the awareness of new things, like the awareness of judgment and how that shows up in my life and how that affects me and how that cuts off flow, like keeps you stuck when you're judging yourself or judging others. Um, so really just that awareness, you know, I don't have it all mastered yet. Um, but I have the tools like I did enough excavation, enough discovery on myself to say, okay, you know, I can, these things can still be coming up. I'm still in, in the process in a lot of my goals, but I feel like in full control of awareness of kind of how to approach them. So that's been my huge win. Instead of feeling stuck, like I need someone else to tell me the next step. It's like, nope, I'm going to figure out the next step because it's inside me already. What does that mean to you? To have that kind of personal, like, what does that mean to you for the rest of your life? I mean, that's huge. Uh, it just feels like I'm unlocking the key to like my real self. Does that make sense? Like really coming into this is who I am and the courage to live authentically and to show up in the world um, as my authentic self and knowing that that's enough, that I'm worthy. Um, that's huge. I mean, in this group, we have mothers of all different stages, places in life. I'm a fairly new mom with my first kid, my first baby. You know, she's still a baby. And just thinking about that, like, man, I can go through motherhood and with this mentality, with these awarenesses. I had someone post on Facebook a couple of days ago and she was like, well, you know, part, you know, once you're a mother, you just worry is the rest of your life. You're just going to worry about your kids the rest of your life. And I was like, that's an interesting belief. And maybe I would have bought into that a little while ago. Like, yeah, that's just part of being a mom. And that's a badge of courage that you just worry about your kids. And I, but I saw the post and I was like, whoa, I don't have to believe that. I can go into motherhood with full faith that every decision I make is right. That I am the perfect mom for my daughter. That I am, you know, as I want to, you know, have future children, that I, that I do that intentionally and, and being fully present, you know, rather than judging myself for being a working mom or, 
you know, a half, half at work, half stay at home, that I can just remove that judgment and remove the worry too. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, you'll, I'll never be concerned or worried about her, but that I don't have to live in a state of fear as a mom being like, oh, am I doing it right? Or I'm not doing it as, you know, I'm, I've dropped the comparison. And that, I mean, motherhood's just one example. You know, I'm looking at that in all areas of my life that I, I don't have to worry about if I'm not doing it the way someone else is, or I just have to worry about or focus on if I'm doing it the right way for me. And maybe share with us one specific, you know, is who's been affected by this? Your, your partner has likely been affected by your shift, your daughter, ah. those around you at your work. Mm-hmm. And, and most of all, probably your very self. Um, but what are, maybe what's something you're so proud of? What are you so proud of that you're like, man, this happened, this specific thing happened. And you know that it was because of things that you learned in this program. Mm-hmm. So I came into the program and my spouse didn't even know that I was doing this. Our finances were separate enough that I was just paying for it all. And he was none the wiser. <laughs> and, um, just because of how things were between us, I was like, well, I'm just going to focus on me and take care of me and, you know, throw myself into the work to see if I can improve the relationship. And, um, it's been slow and steady. Like I was learning tools for myself and how to stand up for myself and, you know, express what I really need or what I didn't want. Um, and then just in the last month, just in the last couple of weeks, I'm seeing the fruits in him. He's like, Oh, you read all these books. Like you have that much time. I said, actually, I make time for myself in the morning and this is my routine and it helps me get ready for the day. And he was like, Hmm. And so he goes out and buys a personal development book (laughs) without me telling him what to buy or, or that he should do that. And then he's like, huh, you use this like meditation app. (laughs) So I, he's like, well, maybe I'll start doing that. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I like it. And he's, he went back to the gym, all of these things without me saying, Hey, you need to do this. Or, you know, without me putting that on him, just me living in the truth that these things are really helping me and they're helping me show up the way I want to in my relationship and in my life. And I'm seeing him mirror those behaviors back because he can see that they've been blessing my life. And, you know, like I said, it's a work in progress. Any relationship is, but I've seen a lot of improvement. You know, I I can let it flow. I can let it be easy some days. I can, even when we're having a hard moment, I can not take it personally. And I can look at it out of curiosity instead of judgment. Like, hmm, wow, where is this coming from? Instead of being like, I can't believe you said that to me. (laughs) And it's just changed the course, honestly, of my marriage. You know, and even if he hadn't, if I, even if I hadn't started to see these behaviors in him marrying back, I would still say it had changed the course of my marriage because I'm a different person in my marriage. So that's been just incredible for me to watch. That's huge. I heard you say, oh, it was slow and steady. And I'm like, well, (laughs) 90 days. (laughs) Well, really, I bet there's women watching this that would love just the tiniest shift in their marriage in 90 days that is worth its weight in gold when you're yeah. like I really thought this was a lasting wonderful what is happening that's mm-hmm. huge so very at the end here what do you say to a woman that's probably a working mother she's probably going to be one that chooses to watch this call um and her marriage is probably kind of going like this because life is shifting she's feeling like she's missing something. She's probably used language like, am I broken? How come I cannot take this in? This is something that, that, that we get to hear in the woman world. What do you say to this woman about our experience, about hesitation she's having? She's probably been in the collective. A lot of those people watch these testimonials. She's hanging out in the hallway, if you will, wondering if it's really worth it, if it's, she's going to really find something here. What's the wisdom that you'll share with these women? Because there's more than one. There 
any one of the wins that I've had, I've had major progress in all of my goals and we just went more into my relationship one. Um, but any one of those single wins is worth its waiting. It's worth the whole cost of the program. <laughs> if I just focused on one area, but it's not, it's your whole life. This is a whole experience. I'm looking at you as a whole person. Um, and so, and like I said earlier, if you feel like you're missing something or that you're not measuring up because you're juggling a million things and trying to get your worthiness out of juggling a million things, it's okay to, it's okay to slow down. <laughs> and this program will give you the tools from the knowledge, because like I said, I had read all the book, I'd read so many books, not all the books. There's a lot of great books. I love to read and personal development. And so I had all this knowledge up here, but I couldn't translate it into how I wanted my life to look or how I wanted outcomes in my life. And so if you're trying to change what your life looks like or change, just change how you feel in your life and in yourself, this program can fills in the gap gives you the tools to actually implement, to actually change the knowledge that you have up there, even the feelings that you have into reality in your life. Um, so if you're waiting in the hallway, if you're like, oh, this is a really nice group of women, but I'll just stay in on the free class. Um, this is me saying, you deserve more than that. You're worth more than that. And the Lord has more for you if you're willing to jump in. One of my favorite things Robin ever said to me, my first call, I signed up and I was like, Ooh, this feels scary. <laughs> like I felt this emotion, like, wow. Okay. I just did something big. And she said, what if it, what if the ground just rises up to meet you? What if instead of jumping off a cliff, it's just a step forward, a step up. And that, oh, I'm getting emotional. That stayed with me the whole program. What if this isn't this big, scary leap? But the next step that the Lord has for me to keep growing, to keep moving forward, to keep moving up. And so if you're ready to, to take the next step forward, maybe you've been feeling scared because you're on a cliff or it's a bigger investment than you've ever done before. It's worth it. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm a mom and I'm like all the proud mama feels. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom, your heart, your energy. So, so much. We're so grateful to have had you in the program. We're so grateful that you're continuing on the mastermind. We get to have your energy and our team and everything. So thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Robin.